everyone, and welcome to Wedaways Getaways Virtual Fams, designed for wedding planners and their amazing couples to tour the world, find the most beautiful destinations, the most fabulous properties within the destinations, fall in love, and book your wedding and your honeymoon in these most beautiful places. Today we're in Mexico and we're very excited. Yeah, <laughs> we have the beautiful and talented and wonderful Kelly Murphy, who's coming to us from <laughs> Southern California. Welcome, Kelly. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. So excited. We are, yeah, we're so happy that you're with us because Hotel Esencia, this magnificent jewel in the Riviera Maya, has got to be the most magnificent property Thank in the region. It is beautiful. It makes you feel warm and wonderful being on the property. You're in the lap of luxury. The service is, it doesn't get better. The F&B food and beverage, for those of you who may not quite understand, if you're just kind of watching, <laughs> this video, it, it, it doesn't get better. And I had the great privilege of visiting the property just as the finishing touches were being made. And even then it was like, oh my gosh, we can't wait to get back. So here we are with this beautiful presentation. I would like to share with our viewers that Hotel Esencia is built on 50 acres on probably one of the most beautiful beaches in the Riviera Maya. Uh, Kelly will tell you how it's so easy. You just fly into Cancun and pretty quickly you're right at the resort. The founder is a true visionary. His name is Kevin Wendell. And he mm -hmm. actually has a surprise property opening in France, which we will visit <laughs> at a future date. But for now, this property was built, I think planted by the seeds of love in his heart and love of travel. And in my opinion, uh, when I visited this and I met Kevin, I felt like this was probably envisioned and created out of what he loves most when he has an incredible travel experience. So as I said, it really doesn't get better than this. Um, if you want to see more about the property in detail, you can look it up on our website. It's wetaways.com. You just look up Hotel Essencia and you will be able to read all about it, all about the requirements, the wedding spaces and capacities, the in-house wedding services, the accommodations and anything else that you may need. So make sure you stop by and check that out. And for now, I'm going to say to this beautiful Kelly Murphy, take it away. Yay. Okay, great. Let me share my screen. But Renee, you really did. You really summed it up quite nicely. And what you said about Kevin is just, it's absolutely true. He's such a big part of our story. Um, and really, well, I'll start before I get into Kevin. I will start with saying welcome to Hotel Sensi. I'm so happy to be here. Um, we love having events. We love having weddings at Essencia. And there's so many special aspects that really separate us from anything else that's offered in the region. So just to start up with some like preliminary information, in terms of location, we're about an hour south of Cancun, as Renee said. So we're right in the middle of Playa Carmen in Tulum. So it's about an hour drive from the airport. However, this is kind of exciting. Well, I think Renee already knows, but we did recently buy our own helicopter. So now we can do helicopter transfers to and from the airport. We can do helicopter tours. So if you don't wanna do that hour drive, you do not have to, you can take a 25 minute beautiful helicopter to the property, which is quite spectacular. So um, that's our new addition. And then of course, as Renee said, Kevin is a huge part of our story. So, um, What's really special about Kevin, aside from being, as Renee said, a, a true visionary, um, his background is actually in Hollywood producing. So he produced Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Beverly Hills 90210, The Simpsons. And I think that's really relevant because what he did with Essencia is he kind of treats it as his very own movie set. So everything is incredibly curated, but not to the point where you feel very stuffy and like this, this type of luxury that's not very inviting. It's quite the opposite. So he's really created a place where because the property before he bought it was originally the home of an Italian duchess, he wanted to keep that theme going. So yes, he curated it into this beautiful, luxurious, as this quote says, most heavenly hotel on earth, which I totally agree. Um, but what he did is 
when our guests arrive, they really feel like they're coming home to his estate versus coming to a big hotel. And what's so amazing about that is when you're celebrating your wedding, that's exactly what you want it to feel like. You're inviting all your closest family and friends to our, our beautiful property. And it, it really feels like, oh my gosh, we're all just coming to another private estate or like our own home, which is so special. So um, aside from that, the other key aspect I think that really sets Essencia apart is um, our beautiful beach. So we are located on the beautiful beach of Ishpuha, which is is regarded as one of the most beautiful beaches in the region and that's just fact I'm not just putting that out there um but what's so great about the beach is not only this beautiful Caribbean blue water and the white sand beach but it's also the fact that we are the only hotel on this beach so that's super rare for the region so it's as private as it gets and what we like to call it Essencia is the Essencia way which really is this like private island type of feel so um you know there's no public access um so it's just you and your guests, which is, again, completely rare in the region. So a lot of these hotels are sharing beaches with other hotels. So that's just not the case at Essencia. Um, and here you get a little kind of sneak peek into the kind of the common areas of the property, which are beautiful venues for weddings and things like that. Um, and for example, the main house. So this is the original home of the Duchess that I mentioned earlier, still very much the heart of our property. Um, and it does have some of our suites as well. But I'm not going to get too into like the individual suites, but I do think it's important for everybody to see kind of the overall theme of the rooms you're going to see throughout the presentation and throughout the property. And what Kevin and our creative director, Juan Carlos, has done is you can see something incredibly beautiful, fresh and bright. Um, and you'll see this theme all throughout the property. Um, and all of our suites just offer really different kinds of amenities and special surprises and things like that. For example, our rooftop wellness suite. Maybe you have guests that are really into wellness. So we have this beautiful, I know this one's so spectacular. This is definitely a best-selling suite. Um, and then you have things that are kind of more classic, like the master suites, which are overlooking the beach, overlooking the pools, um, beach suites directly on the sand. Like we have really figured out a way to have every single category offer something completely different. Um, and really fit for everybody. So things like this, like the master jungle suite, and then you'll see some of our villa options, like the pool villa, the private villa Yumha, our brand new Essencia mansion, they're perfect for families. So I do like to point out that we are family friendly. There is no like age restrictions or anything like that. Um, I will say we only have a kids club during the holiday season. However, if you're buying out the property, we can absolutely set up a kids club. That's no problem at all. Um, and you will see a theme with some of our accommodations like the presidential bungalow or maybe the private villa where you can actually use that as your venue so you're not forced into a property buyout. Again, it's kind of specific on the times of year, which I'll get to later, but that is an option to kind of avoid the buyout, maybe take 20 suites or 30 suites um, and kind of host your events at these villa options, which is quite incredible. So. Philly Yumha, this is one of our classics, I think, for events and things like that. So it's a four bedroom villa, private pool, fully staffed. You can see it's quite grand. It's more like colonial hacienda style, um, but definitely a guest favorite. And it's incredibly private. So maybe you host like a rehearsal dinner here and then host the actual wedding at the presidential bungalow. There's so many options. Um, it's really personalized to your group and what you're looking for. Um, and then, of course, I do want to kind of emphasize this new one, which is our Essencia Mansion. It's absolutely incredible. We built it from the ground up. It's actually over 12,000 square feet. Um, four bedrooms, three pools, private gym. Um, of course, it's fully staffed. And I mean, if this isn't scream party house, of course, like a nice kind of controlled party, but it does kind of have that element of like so grand it's already so beautiful that there's almost only so much you have to do to elevate it to be some sort of kind of event so um definitely something to keep in mind um as as like a venue or something like that um and then again this is all stuff that Renee can share and I can share with her to share with everybody but just to show you like the kind of complimentary amenities we include with any of our guests um, and then things you can add on like the helicopter transfers um, anything like that like private events personal trainers whatever it may be that's all things we can add on 
Um, I think our spa is really notable. Renee, I'm not sure if you got to experience a spa, but it's quite special. Um, it was actually voted by Vogue as one of the best spas in Mexico, which is something I agree with. Again, I'm completely biased, but Essencia is quite special. Um, and the spa is one of those things that makes it really stand out. So it's actually a spa that's inspired by Mayan culture and tradition. So every treatment is actually, um, well, again, it starts with this beautiful Mayan ceremony. And then every treatment kind of, whether it be a lotion or a cleanser, whatever it may be for facials or massages, it's actually all grown on property in our herb garden. So it's all completely natural and organic. So if you have guests that are interested in something here, you can see a nice example of our spa kitchen. So every herb, every spice you see, that's all cultivated from our own garden, which is amazing. And of course, we added an infrared sauna. But really, even if you're not doing a full buyout, you can totally privatize the spa for a group. And that's actually doesn't even come at an extra cost. It's really just a guarantee that you have all the treatment rooms taken for your group at one time. And then you can all um, enjoy the facilities as well. Of course, there's a beautiful techno gym. Um, and then I'm just gonna go backwards because I'm gonna go towards the beginning of the presentation, which is where kind of I can get more into the event guidelines and procedures um, and basically just what it takes to have a wedding in Essencia. Um, so first I'll start with culinary. Sorry. I wanted to ask you, there are nine, I think nine event spaces on property. We have them listed on the website. It's, nine sounds correct. It's it's hard to say because you could really transform so many areas <laughs> into event space. So yes, generally I would say nine. However, it's very, very flexible on the areas of the property that can be transformed into something really special. So yes. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go back actually to food and beverage because obviously that's a big part of any event wedding or just in general, a stay. So um, we have three on-site restaurants. We have our sushi restaurant, Tayo. Um, sorry, which is right here. Um, we have, well, actually Tayo isn't shown here, but I will show it later. Um, we have Mistura, which is our Mexican fusion restaurant that overlooks the beach. We have Beef Bar, which is our tropical steakhouse. It's actually a concept restaurant. So it's in a few locations around the world, but we were the first one in Mexico, which is pretty special. Um, and then we have places like Beach Bar. We actually recently added a speakeasy, um, which sorry, I'm skipping around here, but here you can see like what Renee was saying, like, yes, maybe nine is like a nice approximate number, but there's so many areas to do special things. So the speakeasy, that's brand new. That's totally something we can privatize. Again, there's um, accommodations that can be transformed into venues like the presidential bungalow. I just want Good to interject, I want yeah. to interject something for those who don't know what a speakeasy is. In the days yes. of prohibition in the United States, when alcohol was outlawed, there were these speakeasies that were created that were secret little, um, uh, would you call it a, a bar, I guess, or a, yeah. a bar. Like a bar. Where, mm -hmm. yeah, where it was, you would find the entrance at a very obscure place like in an off of an alleyway or or at the exactly. back of the shop and then you'd go in and it would be this fabulous fabulously decorated really cool the lights were low place where everybody would be dressed up and they would be just enjoying beverages and they would have music and it would just be a place where it would be like a an oasis in a place that was what we would call dry because no alcohol was totally. allowed. And this type of uh, event space or space on a property is so cool because if you want to have an extra little event where everybody can sort of get dressed up in these really cute, either totally. a themed costume or whatever, it is such an unusual amenity opportunity on a property that this really sets you apart. It's gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah, and I couldn't, I couldn't agree more. I mean, talk about like a surprise and delight for your guests. Our entrance is something like you described, Renee, like very obscure. And I don't want to ruin the surprise of how you get there. But once you're on property and you see there's like a password, there's like this crazy way to get there. Um, but like talk about like what a, sh a shock in a, in a really positive way. Um, and the whole speakeasy itself is just 
breathtakingly beautiful. Um, the ceiling is a hand-painted mural. All of the marble you see is authentic, beautiful marble. Um, so yes, a really, really, that's recently added. So I'm really excited about that because one other really exciting part for me as like on the operational side when I'm on property is a speakeasy is kind of like underground. So you could party till 1, 2 a.m. and none of the other guests would hear. So operationally, it's incredible. And you and your guests can be as loud as you want and we would never say anything. So that's a really special aspect as well. Um, but here you can see, like, again, there's so many options in terms of venues on property. I mean, the tennis court can be completely transformed and tented into something really beautiful. The circle lounge is brand new. That could be um, maybe like a, a small get together, but we can do a private dinner there. There's there's so many opportunities to play around with the spaces um, and offer your guests really different environments without having to leave the property, which I think is what everybody looks for when they're trying to plan um, like a wedding with different aspects. And like I said, surprise and delights are always important. So of course we have our beautiful restaurants. We have a bar like beach bar, which is great. Maybe for like a welcome cocktail. We see that a lot on property. Um, and then here is Tayo finally. <laughs> so Tayo is an amazing place for a beautiful dinner that you can totally privatize. Um, and then there's the common spaces when you do a hotel buyout, like the main house garden, um, the palm garden, which is by beef bar. So that kind of just gets into some details I like to harp on when it comes to events. Um, we do not require um, a, see here you can see event locations. I mean, there's so many, so nine is, relatively accurate but you know you can see it's it's ex an extensive list Beautiful. um but what i sorry no it's it's amazing it's amazing <laughs> um so anyways i was gonna say that it is not required to have a buyout there are certain times of year that it's oh if it's over a certain amount of suites we do require a buyout just because it's high season so we're typically going to be pretty fully occupied at that point. However, between May and October, we're a lot more flexible. Um, I would say when it comes to rates and as well as policies, we can play around more when it's low season um, in terms of curfews, in terms of you know the amount of people we can go up to without with avoiding a buyout or something like that. Um, so just something to keep in mind, we're a very flexible property. We have Kevin is our sole owner. So he has no other partners. It's just him. It's a family property. He lives on property with his two sons. So um, it's very case by case is what I like to say, because, you know, we've, we continue to do things that we've never done before because it, we're a small team and we just want to see it grow and see exactly like the limits we can go to, which you can see here. I mean, in terms of entertainment, we've had fire dancers, we've had these incredible fiestas, like barbecues and like a barbecue show in front of your face basically wow may i ask you um so kelly, the limits just there's really no ask, limits i guess is what i can say may i ask you kelly to share with our viewers what is low season versus high season what are the dates so technically our low season is may may to october is low season high season is november to april um, however, you will find like beginning first week of April, uh, November, we can be a little more flexible. And then maybe like the last weekend of April, like if you have those bookmarked, <laughs> those like bookend dates, we can play around with those. Um, so yeah, that is like how we characterize low season, high season. Um, and I do just like to say that low season is funny because low season is low season because of weather um and other aspects like that however i lived on proper well, not on property but about five minutes from property for about two years and i can say that there are over the two years may was one of my favorite months it's incredibly beautiful i mean even june and july has really beautiful days so although we characterize it as low season i don't like to push people away from those months one because we're way more flexible and two because there's really beautiful days during those months. Of course, there's a higher risk for weather and things like that. Um, but at the same time, you know, we if if weather was ever an issue, we have a fully equipped team to help and find a plan B or whatever it may be. So I just want to be transparent that we don't want to say low season as something to scare people because it's actually a really beautiful time of year as well. I, another so. thing I'd like to just comment on is the diversity 
of your spaces. In many properties, when you go, there's uh, there are you know space options available, but so often it's just the space is over here and you're looking a little bit to the south and here you you have an event space and but you're looking at the same view but you're looking a little skewed to the north or whatever the case may be here on this totally. property the spaces because of the the architecture and the way everything is created to be really unique into its own you're you feel like if you have a three-day buyout on this property this beautiful hotel essencia you can create enough event opportunities that it feels like you're on a massive property but you are not you're on a beautiful estate and everything just feels amazing which is the huge importance of course of a wedding planner being a part of all of this because they can go oh, down yeah. on the site inspection with the couple they can take the walk through they can you know come up with all the creative ideas with your event team as well and just create something spectacular and very unique absolutely renee that's Absolutely true. And I think um, that's really what sets us apart is all of our quote unquote venues are just so, so different from one another that, you know, your ceremony could be on the beach, but you have your after party at beef bar and it feels like you're in a different part of Mexico almost because I think that's how Essencia has really diversified itself um, is that a lot of people say that our property feels very Mediterranean, however, still somewhat authentically Mexican, which I think is so special. And we still, we love to share all like the amazing parts of what, you know, being a property in Mexico, we really want to showcase what is so special about the culture and the food and the music and everything like that, um, that you can get, you know, a totally different aspect to each part of your event, which is so special. And I think this slide, particularly, you can see just all the activities you and your group can enjoy together, whether it be a pool. I mean, the pool parties are probably the best part of our of a buyout. The pool parties are so fun to see and we'll have these huge um, kind of blow up flamingos. We'll have a, a margarita stand. We'll do um, like a fruit cart. Like we really play on um, this exciting pool party with having like kind of some Mexico aspects to it. So still feeling like you're in Mexico, but having um still your the essencia way that's what we call it so here you can see exactly kind of all the activities we can offer we can do you know smaller private groups anything like that all of this is totally doable which is um gives a lot of options for your guests so again here you're seeing just some some past events that we've done the mariachi is always a big hit um we work with so many great vendors in the area that we can recommend um, so yeah, as this slide says, whether it's an intimate party or a very large wedding, I mean, we can host up to 300 people as it says. So, um, just keep us in mind, we can really offer, you know, if, if you're looking for that really intimate kind of elopement, that's amazing. We've done that so many times, or if you are interested in a buyout situation where the whole property is just for you and your guests, we can accommodate both options and they're both incredibly special. So, um, like I said, keep us in mind. We're always, I'm always happy to help and provide Renee and her team with any information any of you need. And yeah, let's party as it says. I love that. <laughs> I love that too. It's just beautiful. Okay, so let me just leave the viewers with a little bit more information. If you would like more information in detail where you can just take your time and look through everything, you can go to wetaways.com, look up Hotel Essencia. You can actually compare it to other properties in the region if you like, and if you'd like to contact our team, there are contact forms on the website, as well as you can email weddings at wetaways.com and we can always help you. The way it works is you have your wedding planner, contact Wetaways if they don't know us already, and then we will make the introduction to the team at Hotel Essencia, and then you can be off and running to the most fabulous celebration of your life. And that's, that's what we right. So Kelly, thank you. Kelly's a newlywed, by the way. So depending on when <laughs> you're viewing this recording, um, it may be an anniversary by then, but we hope that you come back often and you visit our videos often. And Kelly, the best of luck to you. 
And thank, thank you. you for sharing. You are a ray of sunshine. A, a, a sky of sunshine is what you are, actually. <laughs> and we're so greatly appreciative. And Wetaways is in love with Hotel Essencia. So we can't wait to book more business with you. Thank you so much, Renee. Thank you for this opportunity. And like I said, we can't wait to welcome you all and show you just how special Essencia is. That's so beautiful. Okay, everybody. We'll see you <laughs> next time. And if you have any questions, give us a shout out. Thank you.